What's up everybody, it's Christian Jones here, and today in this video, I will be going over the four things that I wish I knew when I shot my first wedding video. To anybody new here, thank you for joining me today. I hope that you find this video helpful and informative. I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And if you have any questions for me down below, just leave it in the comments and I'll make sure to get right back with you. Okay, let's get started. Make sure to stay till the end of this video because I'm going to share the most important thing that I wish I knew before I shot my first wedding video. Starting us off with tip number one, I wish I knew to get more footage of the people and the family there. I focused way too much on the decorations and more of the environment, and I should have been focusing on the people who attended. Now, if you're a new wedding filmmaker or photographer, I understand it can be very scary going up to people and taking videos of them. Most people are very awkward on camera, including me, and it gets very nerve wracking walking up to them and just getting footage without saying anything. Something that I found useful is being very playful and lighthearted about it. Crack a joke, introduce yourself, make yourself more comfortable and make the person that you're about to film more comfortable around you. Obviously you can't do this with everybody, so if you just have to wing it, just go for it because it is very, very important. And make sure just to smile and don't act like you're the serious filmmaker who they should feel nervous around or uncomfortable around. Tip number two is I wish that I knew to keep a shot list. I definitely didn't keep any kind of shot list. I didn't have any notes, which was very dumb of me, but I thought that I could just get away with it from watching a few YouTube videos on how to get the best cinematic shots for a wedding. However, I would say it is very, very crucial that you have a shot list prepared and on hand when you're shooting a wedding. This is so important because if you don't know what shots you're supposed to get, or you get nervous and you just start forgetting the shots that you learned from that video, then you're sunk. You don't know what you're doing. The couple can see that you don't know what you're doing. They can just see you walking around aimlessly. And this flaw will show up in the final edit. You will notice as you're editing that you are missing certain shots. It's very important to keep a shot list. This would have helped me and relieve stress when I shot my wedding. I really didn't know what I was doing. Lots of time I was just going around and doing what I thought would look the best at the time, but I know that the video would have turned out a lot better if I had a shot list on hand. Moving right along to tip number three, I would say is more difficult and sometimes a little bit more hard to plan out, and this would just be to get to know the couple better. I didn't know the couple that I was shooting very well. I knew their names, I talked to them very lightly, I didn't take the time to get to know them. And I know that if I did that, they would have been more comfortable on camera, they would have been more easy to direct and pose because they would have known somewhat of who I am and that I'm not somebody that they should be uncomfortable or scared around. Okay, here's why this is so important. If the couple that you're doing the video for has, let's say, a really good friend who plans on getting married in the next month, they may or may not go to that friend and recommend you as a filmmaker. And this can honestly be determined on how kind and nice and outgoing of a person you are. Even if you're not that outgoing of a person like I am, just act like you are. Just act really nice, really kind, be really open with any suggestions or any ideas that they have for you. And I think it will make them and you enjoy the whole wedding day 10 times more. Okay, we made it to the last tip. So tip number four, which is the most important, would be I wish that I knew to capture audio. 
So I brought no sort of microphone or any type of audio device. And I see so many other people's wedding videos. You can hear the audio of them talking and there's some other clips over it. I would say that audio is easily half the experience. I mean, you've heard that many times, I'm sure. And I would say that that is by far the most important thing that you need to do. Okay, that wraps this video up. Thank you so much to anybody who made it this far into the video and to anybody who's planning on shooting their first wedding soon. Best of luck, you're gonna do amazing. I hope this video was of aid to you and I hope you learned something and I will see you in the next video. Bye.